You're watching the TV44 auction show. Onward! Welcome to a very special and fun <laughs> Faith and Friends. It's our annual auction show. You just saw Ben Rife on the John Deere Gator. I didn't think I was going to ever get him off of that. <laughs> That's just one of the several vehicles up for bid, and you can even bid on little tiny cameras, just like Andy had there. This is from the war, right? It is little an spy occupied spy camera. Well, that's you can take it out. You can open it up. And oh, I didn't know it came out. Yeah. That's, that's I thought it case. was spy through the case. That would oh, be incredible. Yeah. September 9th is so this our has auction. Like a we'll have the Gator. We'll have drive more. In, right? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Take a look. Well, Download it to your phone. I have no. a feeling back then it wasn't quite Where's quite the USB like port? I don't see it. I think the USB port for that camera might have been in Baltimore or <laughs> something along those lines. An actual <laughs> camera, an old school type of camera. We'll have a look at some of the other vehicles later on in today's show. And this year's TV's 44 auction is September 9th. There is still time to bring in your donation. You can do so this week or next week. Deadline, of course, September the 1st. Drop-off hours are Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Call and ask for Jennifer if you need to set up a drop-off time outside of those hours. Why come to the auction? Come for the Ohio State rug you see beneath <laughs> our floor. We also have a full wall size print of the OSU football stadium that can go on your wall. It's actually wallpaper and it's from Jim Trestle's first game before 9-11. Uh, so a nice uh, thing to add to your wall there. We have Ohio State wind chimes. We have Ohio State pillowcases. However, the TV44 auction is a great place to find a lot of other things. If you're a Buckeye fan, you should come. But if you're a fan of anything, you should come because we're probably going to have it here. And it's all an opportunity to sow back into the ministry of TV44 and further the message of Jesus Christ to all ages. Now, before we get into some of the individual items, let's first keep in mind the focus of everything we do here at the TV station, and that is the message of Jesus. A short scripture to start our show tonight, Romans 8:28. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him and who have been called according to his purpose. In fact, purpose of the TV44 auction is to be able to sow more into this ministry, especially in the areas of local youth. Like many of you, we desire to see young adults and the youth in our community grow up with a knowledge of Christ and a desire to live for him. Thanks to all who have donated items to the auction and to those of you who plan to come out and make a purchase on September the 9th, together we are striving to make to reach others with the life-changing message of Jesus Christ. This year's auction features some great furniture, some incredible trips, but also some pretty nice yard tools. I asked my husband to test out this year's donations, and let's just say it appears he now has a list of items that he might want to bid on. We'll start with this Black & Decker battery-operated combo system. And we haven't yet decided if we're going to sell these in a group or if we're going to sell them individually but there are six total batteries and there's two different items. You can see right there, that is a weed eater. It's very lightweight and it's easily adjustable. There is also a trimmer that works really nicely. Here's a still professional quality weed eater. This came from Steve Meyer's service and the individuals who owned it, it was actually just too powerful for them actually. So they donated it to our auction. Very little use. Um, my husband tried it out, as you can see right here. He found it to work really well, look really easily. It does take a 50 to 1 combination gas, but we do have some of that for the auction. Now, this thing right here, my husband thinks, is fabulous. It's a Poulon Pro pruner. Just watch how easy he can go up in this tree and trim, trim, just do some trimming. Quick and easy, super simple. Now he's going to move down and get the other uh, parts along the tree. Um, this one, my husband said, hmm, I think I'm going to have to bid on this one. So there you go. You can bid against him. These are just a few of the tools that we have available. Here's another one, the Poulon Pro Combination System. It is a weed eater type system, but it's got two different options. There's your traditional weed eater setup right there. But now look how simply he's going to take this attachment off. And then he's going to add on a a permanent one that you don't ever have to actually 
replace the string. And those of you who have a weed eater know that that's just a constant thing you have to be doing. You gotta replace the string. Well, this one has a four pronged cutter that works all the time. This one's gas operated. Poulon Pro is a great brand. Lots of different yard items will be available. There's a lawn sweep, there's a Poulon Pro mower, and of course we have that gator. Now the gator will be up for bid during the vehicles, but the rest of these items that you just saw will be bid for bid at 10 o'clock September 9th at the TV44 auction. The TV44 auction is always a great place to find lots of great gift certificates. This year, our food certificates include Happy Days, Old City Prime, Beer Barrel, Shirley's Popcorn, Cupid, The Bent Spoon, and Lima's one-of-a-kind smoothie shop, Dash and Joey's. Chad Ensley of Dash and Joey's joins me today to talk more about this brand new shop, this brand new restaurant of sorts that has come to Lima. What can we find at Dash and Joey's? Yeah, pretty much like you said, uh, gourmet smoothies. Uh, fresh squeezed juices. Um, we also have shots. Uh, we have bowls that people are kind of coming in and asking about. Uh, basically a bowl is something you can eat with a spoon. Uh, it's a thicker smoothie base and then fresh fruit granola on top. So it's something different, you know, something you can find in there that's a little different than other places. Why is a smoothie, a shot, a juice, why is that a good option for a person who just needs that afternoon snack? Yeah, it could be an afternoon snack. Um, a lot of people come in for lunch. Um, it's, it could be a meal replacement. A lot of these things, uh, like the Rocky here, has protein in it. Uh, we also have vegan protein. Um, and it's just a good uh, substitute for lunch if you're on the go. A lot of people I know I am, I'm on the go a lot. Um, so traveling, it's easier, you get a smoothie, you drink it. Um, you don't have to worry about getting in line and having to eat in your car. Uh, you can drink it and then throw it away as you go in if you have 15, 20 minutes for lunch, which I know a lot of people do. So. Yeah, that's right. So you have a lot of options. Um, each one has a very unique, creative name. Yeah. You've brought two of those uh, with you today. So describe to me what you've got here. Yeah, so all of these smoothies and juices, even the shots, um, they're movie titles. So going back from the 70s and 80s up till now. Um, so right now we have here the E.T. Um, this is a pineapple juice base with uh, banana, strawberry, and kiwi. Uh, and this is our most popular, number one, mm -hmm. by far. Um, and I also brought one of my favorites, the Rocky. Uh, has banana protein, has protein in it, and a milk base. And we also have almond milk too for the uh, dairy-free. So you have so. vegan options, you have gluten-free options, dairy-free options. You can really basically fit any person's uh, health issues or interests. Yeah, yeah. If you're on any type of diet, um, and if even if it is. Uh, you know, health related that you have to eat that way. Um, yeah, we have, we have people come in with uh, peanut butter or peanut allergies, uh, almond allergies. So we'll wash the blender again um, and we'll do everything in the back instead of in the front. Um, so we kind of, you know, uh, get with people that have all different types of um, like gluten-free uh, allergies and stuff like that, we can find it. And you can make whatever you want. So say if you don't like the ET and you don't like banana, uh, we can take banana out and we can double strawberries or double blueberries. Um, whatever you like, we can make. So if what your preference is, we can do. Now we have not yet told you where Dash and Joey's is located. Perhaps you already know it's on East Town Road and it's that same shopping little area where you'll find Sarah's Sweets and Shirley's Popcorn right smashed there in the middle with the nice big circle sign in the, in the window. Yeah, yeah, you got the window perforation right there. So every time you go by, you can see it, big bold letters um, just to get your attention. All right, so let me, let me try these out. You say we got your, your number one. This is your most this is, popular this one. This is the most right? popular one okay. by a thousand smoothies. All right, so, so we've got ET. pineapple. We've got, tell me again what's in here. This is banana, uh, kiwi, and a little bit of Greek yogurt in there, uh, and strawberries, and mm. a pineapple juice base. That is really good. A little fruity. That is fruity, smooth. Refreshing. Taste the kiwi in the back. Yep. 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 That would get you going. That would get you up ready to go and ready to get going on your day. Yep, definitely. Um, and then this would be a little bit different taste, <laughs> but this is the Rocky. Uh, this one has the protein in it, banana, uh, and peanut butter. All right. So a little bit simple, but uh, it's one of our most popular. Why too. protein? Why should we be putting protein in these things? Yeah, so a lot of people don't get um, the right amount of protein throughout the day. Very it tastes different. good, right? Yeah. 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 Um, and, you know, you're rushing throughout the day. A lot of people don't eat breakfast, so they're trying to fry, find a substitute. Um, maybe you can't get a chicken breast or, you know, a steak at lunch. You know, I mean, a lot mm -hmm. of people, you have to go sit down at a restaurant for that. So, and you don't have time to make a sandwich. So this is a good substitute. It's quick, 
Um, you come in, you can get it in four or five minutes at the shop. Um, you can also do call ahead, which a lot of people don't know. You can do call ahead now. Um, so if you're busy, even busier than that, you can call ahead, we'll have it ready for you, and then you can pick it up. All right, these are just two of the many smoothie options that exist at Dash and Joey's. You can also get juices and some really healthy, important shots. I encourage you to head into Dash and Joey's and ask Chad or one of the workers um, about those things. Not just tasty things, but healthy things exactly. as well. That's uh, gift cards will be available at the TV 44 auction for the from Dash and Joey's as well as others. And don't forget the grand opening for Dash and Joey's is actually coming up Saturday, August 26th. They're partnering with Deb's Dogs. 10% of the sales will go to Deb's Dogs. And Chad, you said you're matching that too? Yeah, yeah. So 10% of my sales that day will go to Deb's Dogs. And then whatever that is, I'll write a check myself. All right. Yep. Investing into the community. Well, don't forget 100% of the sales from the TV44 auction will go directly into the TV44 budget as we work to pro do local productions for youth in our area. And uh, if you have a daughter or granddaughter, well, then pay attention to this next item. Veronica Wendy is with Anna Lynch. Hi, I'm Veronica. I'm here with Anna, yeah. and we are playing Hello. with the dollhouse that is forbid at our auction on September 9th. This dollhouse is absolutely gorgeous. Hello. We've been having a lot of fun playing with it, haven't we, Anna? Yes. Yeah, well, we are going to get to the back in a little bit, but let's just talk about this front. It has a wraparound porch. And You've it got has soda pop. It has <laughs> soda pop. Yeah, there's a table with soda pop out here, yeah. so you can enjoy everything that's outside. And there's a swing. Yes, there is a swing, and you can put your doll on the swing. We've got a dog that loves the outside porch. Arf. <laughs> Plus, we have two entrances to the back of the house. Ah, her shoe. Oh, she lost her shoe. We've got one right here in the front, and then we also have one around the side and of the house. Bye -bye. Are we going to go play in the back? Yeah. Yeah, after we just look at how beautiful this front is. Yeah. The detail in this house is just absolutely beautiful, and you're yeah. going to see a lot more of that detail like when books. we turn it around in just a little like bit. Like these books. Hi, so everyone. We <laughs> <laughs> Anna here just wants to say hi. She is so ready to play because we have turned around our dollhouse. I'm actually really excited. We have a four bedroom, Ooh. one bath dollhouse with a full kitchen. And actually we have a sewing machine. We have a sewing machine. We have a dining room and we also have a living room. The detail in this house is just phenomenal. We have all kinds of wallpaper, carpet, hardwood floors. And, and of everything. course, all the accessories, right? Yeah. We've been cooking, we made noodles for the dog, we moved all the bedrooms because they're having a sleepover over here, and it's got a sleepover going. We've got all kinds of stuff. So, lots of detail in this. I mean, talk about a tea kettle. We've got a little tea kettle. Th these things are so neat. Like, oh my gosh, we were having yeah. tea a little bit ago. She's getting ready to sew, so we're just enjoying playing here, and we're gonna play a little bit more, right? No! <laughs> So much going on. And the couch is always over here sometimes. It's always over here sometimes, enjoying the fireplace. There is a yeah. fireplace in our living room. Yeah. So much going on in the back side of this. This dollhouse is going to be at our auction September 9th, and it is yeah. going to be an definitely item. an item I'm going to be looking forward to because it is it. <laughs> so cool. But we are getting ready. I got to jump on a gator because we are going to be showing you the cars in just a little bit. So I'm throwing it to Andy, and I'll see you in a little bit. Beautiful sunny day here in the TV44 parking lot. We have a parade of vehicles that will be here on auction day. Some are here already as we welcome in Colin Pate, a 2000 Buick Regal donated by Tom Alt family of dealerships. 120,000 miles on this one. Colin, I feel that cold air pumping out. Good air conditioning. How's it feel? Feels amazing. All right. We'll have Colin go through traction control, CD and radio. This one will be up for bids. Thank you, Colin. Up next, we have Mark Kuntz in a 1999 Volkswagen New Beetle GLS, a local private donation. Still time for you to donate your vehicle or tractor. Mark, this looks like a good one. Over 153,000 miles on it. So for a, an 18-year-old vehicle, it's pretty good mileage on it. It is a manual transmission, five-speed, seats four, tape deck. So a great opportunity to maybe get that new car, newer car for your learning driver, or just a great car to just to drive around town in. All right, thank you, Mark. Nice shade of blue as well. I like that. We move on to a John Deere Gator. I don't know if this is Veronica or Lucy from the radio, but she is pulling up. And, and you're driving in style here. What's the deal? Oh, yeah, this 2005 is so much fun, and green is like my favorite color, so it's perfect. So you're driving this home, aren't you? Of course I am, right down the street. 
There you go. Thank you, Veronica. Automatic dump, two-seater, windshield, only 142 hours in use for that one. Now we welcome in Andrew Troyer. He is a Harley-Davidson owner, and he's showing off the 2008 Harley-Davidson 20C Sportster 1200. You know Harley-Davidson's. How's this one? Oh, she rides clean and nice. Shifts fine and well. All right, that's what we like to hear. Thank you, Andrew. He's going to take it for a spin. 9,475 miles. And finally, if you want a little bit slower pace, just something to take around the house, this might be riding around our house. Is Nathan Lynch comes in. How you doing, Nathan, riding this personal scooter? It's very fun. Are we going to have to have this at home at the Lynch household? Yes. All right, he's been doing donuts. It goes around, it goes backwards, and you're going to have to bid against Nathan. You have quite a bit in your allowance, don't you? Uh-huh. All right, so we'll see how that goes. Lots of great items up for bid at the TV44 auction. Still time to donate your vehicle as well. It is a tax write-off, and we'll have nine, ten different uh, automobile slash automotive things at the auction. We won't have an ARC, though. We are not auctioning off an ARC to my knowledge, but Jennifer is at an ARC. One of the most exciting parts of the auction every single year are the trips. This year's trip giveaway auction starts at noon, just like in past years, and we have dozens of incredible trips available for you to bid on, including a family getaway trip to the Ark. And it's not just any visit to the Ark Encounter. This is what we call the Super Package. Ark tickets, zip line tickets, and a $100 gift card to help accommodate your costs. We're so thankful to Dr. Tom and Kathy Church and Dr. Bob and Joy Moon for sponsoring this incredible trip package. Other things that you can bid on at the TV44 auction, how about a Henry Ford Museum trip for four? This one's sponsored by Geeskin Outdoor Advertising. The Creation Museum Family Getaway for Four, sponsored by David and Anne Marie Anderson and State Bank Wealth Management. We're going to have a gift certificate for the wilds. You can use this for a one night stay in a yurt. Never been in a yurt? This could be your opportunity. Sponsored by OIO. How about a zipline adventure to a new zipline location in Columbus? High ropes, zipline trails, lots and lots of fun. Also sponsored by OIO. Mad River Mountain Tubing Adventure. This one's donated by Mad River Mountain. Maybe it's a night for popcorn and a movie. Shirley's Popcorn and Movie Tickets for Four. Donated by Shirley's Popcorn and the Shannon Theater in Bluffton. Stingrays, exotic fish, seahorses, and so much more. It's a Newport Aquarium trip, sponsored by the State Bank Wealth Management and Newport Aquarium. Looking for something a little more laid back? How about the Barn Inn, Bed and Breakfast, and Berlin, Ohio? An overnight stay sponsored by Mathern Insurance Agency. Don't forget that all of these trips will be auctioned at 12 noon at the TV44 auction September 9th. You're invited to attend. Here are a few more trips. The Glen Laurel Scottish Inn in Hawking Hills, donated partially by Glen Laurel. The Inn and Spa at Cedar Falls, two weeknights in an antique furnished room, also donated partially by the Inn and Spa at Cedar Falls in Hocking Hills. New to the TV44 auction, a gift certificate to Lazy Lane Cabins. Choose from one of dozens of different cabins in the Hocking Hills area. It's the second year for the Habitat House, a cabin on 278 acres at Kirkmont Center. What an incredible getaway. Thank you, Kirkmont Center, for a donation of one week at the Habitat House. Relaxation is also available along the Maumee River. Three individual one-night stays are available to the Millhouse Bed and Breakfast, provided by the Millhouse in Grand Rapids, Ohio. Here we go, a three-night getaway to Savannah, Georgia, donated by iHeartMedia. This trip for two includes three nights of accommodations, as well as admission for two to the Blue Trolley Tour, Horse and Carriage Tour, and the Savannah River Queen Cruise. So many great getaway trips at the TV44 auction, Saturday, September 9th at 12 noon, and all proceeds benefit local programs that benefit youth and TV44. Time for dinner theaters. La Comedia Dinner Theater, a gift certificate there donated by Dr. Tom and Kathy Church. Or maybe you want to go to Shipshawana. How about the Farmstead Inn? We have a gift certificate for that location donated by Chris and Dancy Moeller. How about some orchestra music? Season tickets for two to the Lima Symphony Orchestra, donated by State Bank Wealth Management. 
Maybe you want to try something else at the Live Civic Center. A $150 gift card for any of the events there, courtesy of Range Clean. The Nicewanger Performing Arts Center also has a stellar season coming up, and you can get a $150 gift card good towards any of their ticketed events, courtesy of Branded Marketing. We also have tickets to many of the other individual events in the Nicewanger 2017-2018 season. Thank you to our friends at Nicewanger Performing Arts Center for your incredible partnership. Maybe you want to go to the Ohio State Theater, Westgate Lanes, COSI in Columbus, Science Central in Fort Wayne, the African Wildlife Safari in Port Clinton, or Holiday World in Santa Claus, Indiana. We have those tickets and so much more. Sports tickets, food gift certificates, service gift certificates. You need to come to the TV44 auction September 9th. All of these items will be auctioned starting at 12 noon. Lots and lots of trips, lots and lots of gift certificates. Um, looks like you're going on a sailing trip. I'm stargazing. You're, you're stargazing. Yeah. I don't even know what that is that you have there. It's not a telescope? I, I, I don't know. It's a little I one. I don't think it's a telescope. It, uh, I don't want to say it's a sextant, maybe? Yeah. I don't know what that means. Close the lid, and there's a, what does that say? Uh, it's a, Eugene donated it. Thanks, well, Eugene. Thank you, Eugene. Well, whether you want to <laughs> gaze at stars through that device or just a fan of Star Trek, we've got great collectibles from Star Trek, CDs, DVDs, and also a, a limited edition CD-ROM collector's edition. Now, this is numbered. It comes with pin. It comes with CDs. It comes with a VHS uh, tape of one of the original episodes. So if, if you're a Star Trek fan, September 9th comes to TV44 auction. Got some great items for you. Speaking of original episodes, we have unopened copies of pretty much just about everything original from Star Trek. Um, the Next Generation, um, the you Previous think Generation. About it. <laughs> it's all there. Uh, <laughs> gift certificate to uh, the 2030 Fast Track program. Uh, Thank you to Donna Kretsch for donating that, as well as some supplements. Really nice dining room table back here with two leaves and six chairs. Just beautiful. I wish you could see the legs on it. Beautiful, ornate carved legs. you got to come to the auction so that you can see these things up close. Of course, the furniture that we're sitting on. Some also... tremendous artwork as well. Some really nice prints. Uh, if you're a Cleveland Browns fan, there's a signed, numbered, lettered uh, Ozzie Newsom print as oh, well. well. So some really good, great stuff for sports fans, for non-sports fans. Whatever you're looking for, you can probably find it at the TV44 auction. No, we nice. just got a chair from Harry House Furniture. It is a double Lazy Boy recliner. Hopefully on our next week's show, we'll be able to demonstrate it for you, but it is super comfortable. So I there's sat two down, chairs together that you, both recline? I did, I sat down in it once <laughs> and I did not, I just didn't want to get out. It was really, it was great. Well, it fit my office. Well, you can build your if, office around that. That's a great idea. You might have to move a few things out, but I could like see you wall. wanting to make that work out. <laughs> well, we are out of time, but we have not even put a dent into sharing with you all of the items available at this year's auction. So tune in next week as you bring as we bring you a look at more of the items coming up on this year's auction block. You also meet the barbecue man who will be grilling this year's food court items, and we'll look to one day after the auction, preparing for Revive Ohio, which comes to Allen County starting September the 10th. And don't forget, we are still accepting donations through September the 1st. Bring items anytime between 10 a.m., 3 p.m., Monday through Friday. Give me a call at the TV station to inquire about other times if those Monday through Friday times won't work for you. Don't forget, September 9th is the big day of the auction. We invite you and all your friends to attend this great event. Registration opens at 8.30 a.m. Bidding starts at 9 a.m. The auction continues until all items are sold. A few scheduled moments in the day. We're going to have yard tools around 10 a.m. Sports items are around that time as well. Trips at noon and vehicles at 2 o'clock. Before we go, final look at our scripture, Romans 8, 28. We know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. More auction items on next week's show. We look forward to seeing you right here at TV44, September the 9th for the auction.